Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cup. Spring is in the air, so we're making something lighter today. We're making a cauliflower puree with a cauliflower and pomelo salad on top. And with that, we're making a yuzu and maple syrup vinaigrette. But before we have a look at the ingredients here on the board, as always, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon. Like that, you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode is out. And now let's have a look. For our puree, we need some butter. Obviously, we need cauliflower. We have our yuzu maple dressing, and I'll show you how I did that. On the board here, you see a lot of bottles. It's all we need for our yuzu maple dressing. I couldn't get a hold of a yuzu, so we're using the zest of a bergamot instead. Similar, not the same. We need some neutral oil. We need some maple syrup. Some rice vinegar. Sesame oil. Some ponsu, which also has yuzu in it, yuzu juice. And some soy sauce. And this is a recipe per weight. So we start with 30 grams of the neutral oil. In my case, it's grapeseed. To that 30 grams, we take 20 grams of sesame oil. Yes. 30 grams of ponsu. grams of rice vinegar twenty grams of maple syrup. And last but not least of the liquid, 30 grams of soy sauce. Now we don't need the scale anymore. For me, this is kind of what gets closest to yuzu in Europe. Now we have everything. And all that's left is some whisking. Give it a little taste. Perfect. Now put that to the side to get the, all the flavors out of the zest as well. And that's how easy the dressing is. As you can see, a very simple dressing. You just keep it in the fridge, and when you need it, you need to whisk it up a bit, but then it's ready to go. And we have some tarragon, just to decorate. And we have our pomelo. And I'll show you how I peel the pomelo. And for our pomelo, it's basically, that's a super-sized grapefruit, which is a little bit milder. Just cut off the top. A little bit further, like that. And then we go down four sides. Not too deep. We don't have to worry about it too much. And then we just get our hands in there and break off the peel. And that, to me, is the easiest way to peel a pomelo. This is a red one, or pink one. 
now you just get your hands in here and break it apart. So we'll clean this up a bit so we have more space. And now all you need to do is to separate each, what would you call it, fillet, and peel off the skin from that as well. Get a, a bowl to put it in. And what to, you want to get rid of this part here as well. I hope you can see that on the camera. It's not for taste, it's just kind of texture. It's not, it's not so nice and it's, not, it's a little bit bitter maybe. And this will take a couple of minutes, but it's well worth it. So I'll see you once we're done with the pomilo. That is it really. You just need to attack it the right way. Uh, but now all we have to do is basically the cauliflower. So let's start with that. Now, the first thing we need to do is to take away the stem. You just lift up the leaves and take it off like that. Keep all of these small things that fall out. They're great for the puree afterwards. And now we just go in and cut around the stem, basically. Put what we don't need to the side. Pick off all the flowers. And once you've done that, you need a mandolin. So get your mandolin out, pick up all, pick up all the flowers, and then we're ready to continue. Now you need to be a bit careful with your hands. And everything, all these small cauliflower pieces, don't worry about them. We'll pick them up afterwards. And we'll use them for the puree. So basically, for the raw cauliflower for the salad, we're after these slices. So slice up all your cauliflower. Keep a bowl to the side where you can put the small parts. Those are the ones we're going to boil later for the puree. And I'll see you once you've done that. You don't have to overdo it with the sliced ones. Keep the nice ones. And you probably don't need more than this. I'm only cooking for two today. So that's plenty for two. If you're cooking for more, make some more. And now these, we're going to steam them, but you can also boil them. But I have a steamer there, so I just chuck them in there. And I'll see you again once these are cooked. Our cauliflower is steamed. And now we're just going to make it small. We'll put in a chunk of butter, maybe two. And we also put in some salt, just to give it a base. And I'll see you once we pour it down this. Oh, I'm doing it in a pot so that you could heat it up later. But if you're going to serve it straight away, just do it in any container, basically. So as you can see, our puree is ready. Now you could potentially push this through a, a strainer. Mm. That's perfect. As you see, I used about half of the butter, so about 100 grams. And I added some more salt, but it's up to taste. But I think this is perfect. So we have our cauliflower puree. We have our cauliflower raw sliced. We have our pomelo. And we have our yuzu and maple syrup dressing. And we all have our tarragon to decorate. So we're ready to plate up. As you can see, there's a little bit less pomelo than there used to be because it's a great snack while you're cooking. It's very light and refreshing. But now before we plate this up, as always, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about the episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, it takes you a second, and it's so important to me to get the content out there in the YouTube universe. So do me the favor, hit the thumbs up. But now let's plate this up. We start with a base of cauliflower puree. Like so. Then we have our pomelo. I don't want it too small. Slices like this. And it's easy. I mean, you don't have to be too careful with, with this, right? Let's start with that. And then we take some of our cauliflower slices.
And I, I transferred this to a bottle. You see, it kind of separates. It's like any vinaigrette. And, and with the, 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 the advantage with the bottle is you can just shake it, and then it mixes again. Otherwise, you would have to kind of whisk it, either with a spoon or a fork or a whisk. And you need quite a lot of this dressing for the dish. Like so. And a few leaves of tarragon, not too many. Maybe three. And there, we're ready to dig in. Oh, let's dig in here. Get a bit of everything. It's creamy, but still at the same time really refreshing because of the pomelo and the dressing. Mm. The tarragon adds a nice twist to it. You have texture there because of the raw cauliflower, but also the pomelo has quite a fine texture, well, fine texture, uh, a texture that you can feel. Mm. This is a perfect starter in spring or summer. Mm. I could easily finish this, but I'll talk to you instead. Again, this dish is nothing I came up with. It's my good friend and chef, Eddie Diemant. He's uh, the chef of Mochi, of the Mochi group in Vienna. And uh, I saw him last weekend, and he served this in a 10-course menu. I just loved it, so I, I had to make it. Share it with you. But the plate is empty. That's it for this time. Before you go, though, if you're not subscribing to the channel yet, please do so. Hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications. Take care. Bye-bye.